Clearly the day has come. Chodesh Tov for the asparagus. They are going out the greenhouse and going into the garden where we prepped for them. I am very, very excited. Asparagus is like a perennial. It comes back for 20 years. The first two, three years, you don't really you, uh, pick them because you want it to get stronger and bigger. And this is our first year of these. We have second year asparagus in the, in the garden and we'll be planting those out as well. And then each little stick like this is a plant. So we'll see how to do it. These are the fronds. These are not the asparagus. There's two parts to the asparagus. There's the fronds and then you have the asparagus sticks. Like these little tiny sticks. These are the asparagus sticks. But they get bigger and stronger every year. And then you have it for 20 years. So you want to plant it in a, like a back place of the garden because these fronds can get really tall, like four feet tall in some places, between two to four feet tall. And um, we're going to go plant those out now. And we're going to plant out the strawberries that we grew from seed. We got some here, we're gonna do that. And the strawberries from yesterday that we said are putting out runners and are not producing fruit, we're gonna also mix that up. So this is on today's list. Oh, she just laid it. Okay, so this is the netting that we put up for the turkeys to get out. But the problem is, ooh, a warm Such turkey a nice egg. Day. I don't know why she's still laying. She doesn't stop laying. It's, uh, she can go in the Guinness World Book of Records. Anyway, so we closed it off. It's really hard to get it in and out for ourselves as well. We have to like squeeze through, but it's gonna keep them safe from the mongoose until we put here a proper gate. Okay, we're up here behind the chicken coop. This is the chicken coop. See, Mr. Roo is walking in. There's Mr. Roo. He's very protective of his one lady that they let him. This one here. She's his lady. So even when she comes to lay an egg, he checks out that, <laughs> that the spot is empty and he tells her where to go and he stands there while she's laying her egg. It's like a crazy thing. Anyway, very protective husband. So this is the back. This is that she's going in. This is the nesting boxes over here. We have the nesting boxes. And on this side, we have the steps where they sleep. Their roosting bars on this side. And they don't understand what we're doing here in this usually quiet area. You're going to lay an egg? Yeah, it's empty. You can go in. Our new asparagus beds. These are the new beds that Braha prepared so beautifully. And this is the asparagus that we brought from the greenhouse. And we're going to plant out this whole thing. Braid it out each one and how come I can't see here? This is it. Give them all out. Squashes that we planted last week. Um, two weeks ago. They're not doing that great. It, they were almost dead when they came out of the greenhouse because it took us so long to actually plant them. And uh, coming in, they got a lot of sun shock and Anyway, they're not doing too well. We'll be happy if and if these guys take in the end. And I'm gonna plant here the strawberries. All right, I'm up here on the top of the garden. I wanted to show you our passion fruit that it is doing so, so amazing. These are all the flowers. They're not open yet, but they'll open. And then every single one of them turns into a passion fruit. This is on the road. This is where everyone comes to visit the garden. 
they come take a walk on Chavez, they come up the back road here, and then you can see straight into the chicken coop. I'll show you. I'm just still looking for a passion fruit. So I can never know if the passion fruits, someone's taking them or they're just falling. But when I was here last time, there were quite a few. See any up here? Yeah. They're t oh yeah, here's one. Okay. There's one in there. Can you see it? Wait. But oh, here's another one here. See, they hide in plain sight, these people. This is the passion fruit. Um, it's ripe when it turns purple and it falls. But I think we're gonna get a bumper crop this year and I'm really, really excited. Passion fruit ice cream. All right, this is a view from on top. And I think it looks really, really cool. We can see the shape of the beds going round. And then we see the inside shape nestling, the herb garden nestled in the inside. Go from a different view here. Passion fruit really is taking over the whole view. But let's try to stand here a second. Okay, so we see also the shapes are mirrored and we see everything starting to grow. It just looks more organized and you can tell like a bit more what we're trying to do from up here. And we get um, every day at least 20 people coming with their families to stop by, say hi to the chickens, because you can see the chickens right here. This is the compost pile, and those are the chickens. There's a ledge here that I'm not sure yet what to do with, but yeah, there's a ledge. And then after the ledge, we have the chickens and the garden, and you can see everything really nicely. So whenever I want to get inspired or I'm tired <laughs> and then I come up here and I take a look and I'm like wow this looks like a proper garden you see the bigger picture so it's really nice okay when I have so much to say of course the camera is gone but I'll try to film a bit on my phone we are now hilling Hilling the potatoes. These are the potatoes that we planted, and we are covering the potatoes with wood chips. And then it will grow more roots around the plant. So it's called to hill it, hilling them. Literally put a hill around them. Wow. Okay, this is my zucchini that yesterday I wanted to explain to you and I did a whole um, video of it and I wasn't very clear. So I'm coming back and maybe we'll be more clear this time. We had powdery mildew on this beautiful zucchini patch. What is powdery mildew? This. See all this like baby powder look like substance? That's powdery mildew. It's a very common thing that affects plants um, cucumbers and squashes and it jumps very quickly from plant to plant. There are preventative me measures but usually if it's in the ground it will keep coming back. So what I did yesterday was I came out and I took off a lot of the leaves that had a lot on it like this one. I just picked off the leaves because the more the sun can get in here the better. So I picked off the leaves and then I put on, I sprayed it with a milk solution. There are still zucchinis growing. The powdery mildew doesn't um, kill a plant, even though it can eventually, but it definitely lowers production. 
definitely lowers production and is a pain. So I'm just coming in and then I'm going to get my milk solution. Now, the leaves that I pull off from the zucchini plants, they go, they do not go in the compost pile because I don't want it to spread. So all the leaves go in the garbage pile. Okay, this is our new garden patch. We had one sink, old sink. These are three sinks that we brought from the reno in building one that we didn't let them throw out and we're gonna plant um, some herbs in it. We just set it up nicely. The reason that we need this kind of garden here also because these herbs have to stay contained otherwise they take over your garden like mint. And another reason is that there's a sewage pipe here, a cement round, a huge round hole. So anyway, we couldn't put a permanent bed. So if we ever need this hole here on the ground, you can just uh, move the sinks very easily. So we're gonna get some more herbs growing in there. I have two buckets here that I'm gonna fill with water because um, as we get to plant, uh, as we get to doing the pond, um, I'm gonna buy plants that go in water and the water from our sinks and our hoses have chlorine in them. And it's not good for the plants, so the, it has to sit. So I'm gonna let the water sit for 24 hours before I go buy aquatic plants for planting our um, pond. I am so excited that this pond is gonna get through. I am getting over using the plastic slowly. It's sort of like, use um, do nothing and be perfect, which I like to be perfect and not use plastic, etc., etc. But that would mean just leaving this pond sit for a very long time or we can get it all amazing and at some point during the line, if I have a lot of extra manpower, I can just come and redo it. It's not a problem. So, Keep, uh, keep your eye out for pond coming to life. Next, good thing we have a phone, but yeah. Next, strawberry time. These are the strawberries from the garden and this is a mix of some bought earth and some of our compost. And we're just gonna take these and stick them in just like that I'm gonna do four four of them yeah and then these strawberries here I'm gonna I'm gonna um, space them take a few of them out to another part of the garden and fill up some earth with no nutrients like we said yesterday there's too much nutrients so I'll remix and replant the strawberries and hopefully we'll still get strawberries this season. Thirty three degrees, it's ninety degrees. Almost 90. 